And hello to everyone. I'm reaching out to you right now while the world is still in the midst of the global pandemic. We have all been contending with this virus now for about seven months. And it has become obviously apparent and overwhelmingly clear that humanity must change its ways and find a new approach to living. It's time for us to create a better relationship with the earth, a newfound connection to the place that sustains us and nourishes our body and soul. It's time for us to, to create a, a better relationship. And this is our wake up call to action, our moment to realize that we can no longer continue to treat each other and the planet with disrespect and carelessness. We truly are at a crossroads, crossroads right now. Will we finally become aware of how interconnected everything really is? Or will we remain asleep to the clear cut choices that we must now make? These are decisions that will determine our fate, a wiser and more enlightened way of life for our future is at stake. And if we believe in kindness and the power of love, we just may make it through this challenge with a whole new state of being. So what I would like to do right now is propose a set of optimistic suggestions on how we can best aspire to this new evolved awareness, a set of principles and values that can lift us up to a higher level of relating to each other and to this planet that we call home. This can be our breakthrough moment, our opportunity to turn this crisis into a positive transformation for all of humanity. So what do you think? Are you excited and prepared for this new possibility? Are you truly ready for a more powerful way of living and loving in the 21st century? All right then, let's take our first steps towards a new way to live. So what's our first step? Where do we begin? How about the profound realization that everything in this world is connected? The earth and everything in it is really one big interrelated web of life. One ripple in this vast ocean of being can be felt in its entirety. I think the virus has made this abundantly clear, hasn't it? We can no longer live with an us versus them mentality. The truth is, is now, in this existence, it's all about we. As in we are in this together. We have to get our choices prioritized and discover a much more unified way of loving one another and the planet. This is our chance to shine, to come out of this coronavirus challenge with a deeper sense of connection and a newfound understanding of a wiser way to be. There is strength in numbers and the more people that we can get to awaken to this new reality, the more we can ensure that our future is bright and inviting. When the light comes on in the collective consciousness, we will find our path to a much better tomorrow. All it will require is an open heart and a willingness to grow and become the united family that's always been our destiny. Our next step is for us to evolve and we can most definitely do this. And a shift in our perspective can take us to places that we can only imagine. Let's continue on 
And always try to remember that we're all in this together. One world, one humanity, and one complete expression of love. Have you ever heard that old saying, it's better to give than to receive? You think that's true? Is life more satisfying and rewarding when we share what we have? Are we open to the idea that if we freely offer what we can to others, that it'll return to us in plenitude? Now I can only speak to my own experiences in life, but this much I do know. Whenever I have let life's riches and blessings flow through me and shared it with the world, I've always felt a deep sense of gratification and love. Being generous with our human family can light up your soul and enrich your heart. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always enjoyed giving away what I had. Connecting to the idea of abundance and passing that along to whoever you choose can spread an immense wave of fulfillment. The feeling can be contagious. The more we do it, the more everyone comes out a winner. Whenever I win something, or I receive a gift, or I possess more than I require, I instinctively share it with whoever's around me. It's an awesome experience to see someone's face light up in a smile when they are given an offering of generosity. Most people will inevitably do the same for the next person. And once you get this ball rolling, there's no way to stop it once everyone's on board. Throughout my life, I have been privileged enough to be showered with a multitude of gifts. What better way to relish everything that the universe has provided than to let it freely glide through your hands into the arms of another? It can be whatever your spirit desires, from something as simple as homemade cookies to an extravagant treasure that means a great deal to you, but one that you know will be savored even more by the person receiving it. Imagine if we all did this, freely offering whatever we can to anyone who's open to the flow of reciprocity. Wow, what an amazing world it would be. A world filled with unlimited hope and love. This is the world that I wanna live in. A life filled to the brim for everyone. This is the future that awaits us. This is the future that we deserve. Get ready for it. Thank you.